Have you ever wondered how the ancients used to set up websites? With absolute tooling like PHP, HTML1 and blinding CSS, those humans were our role models for God and our gods have abandoned us. Well, maybe it's not that dramatic. So here's the plan. My idea is to run a server from my computer without using any of the services and I mean any of them. I am a Node.js soy boy and I kind of want to change that. The reason for doing this is I don't know what Linode means. I don't know how to write PHP, what Laravel is, what's a VPS, where's your mom after last night and I'm very curious to find out about these things. So let's start on our journey fighting the PHP gods or, or joining them. Joining them? I, I don't know. Let's just go. I started out by researching how do you host a server from your personal computer and came across this funny sounding word called Apache. I guess I have to use it now. The first step was to install XAMPP, which includes everything which is essentially like PHP, my C Wait, why, why did you beep that? That's the wrong way to say it? Wait, hold on. Real life? What? I have to check this out. Is it true? Were they lying to me? I have to test it, right? I guess the installation is complete. I started the server using this control panel and went to localhost 80. There was something, but I didn't configure it. At this point, I've learned if you put an HTML file in XAMPP HT docs and keep the Apache server on, it will be hosted as an HTML file. Also, you can put it in a directory and each HTML file is kind of like a page. So I think these are routes, somehow? Then I found this article telling me how do you host this particular server on the internet. The article says, a, it could be illegal for me to host my own web server, some ISPs don't allow unless you're on a business plan, and B, you have to read terms of service to find out, and this is the first time in my life I'm having to read terms of service, I hope they haven't AI generated it. After finding out it wasn't possible over static IPv4, but it was over IPv6, whatever that means, I was motivated again to keep moving. This time I found magic. NG Rock. I was very confused why a rock would be a server, but you don't question God's creations. It was pretty easy actually. Install a rock, run that rock, pet that rock, you've probably never petted your rock and it shows. Then you can open a tunnel from the port that you're hosting your server on, which is 80 in my case, to a free domain that's hosted on ngrock. It is possible to use one of my useless domain purchases, but we're doing stuff for free here, which means we're done. At least in the simplest sense of hosting your own web server from your computer. But we're done, and that's what matters. I hope you learned something. I actually find myself more curious about this topic and wanting to go deeper. That's what she said! <laughs>